When we use twins, we can go one step further in our analysis compared to traditional epidemiological studies. It is perfect natural experiment to control not only genetic but also in environmental factors. Particularly in Finland, there's been really high participation rates, and so this allows for associations that you're looking at to have very little chance of bias. The data collected in the Finnish twin cohort studies allows us to do long-term, longitudinal, repeated measures of how the changes in, say, lifestyle affects outcomes later on. Our study started in 1975. We mailed questionnaires out to over 30,000 twins who were from like-sex twin pairs in the two younger cohorts, born 75, 79, and 83, 80. Seven, we then expanded then to include male-female twin pair. We have obtained DNA from over 13,000 twins. We have GWAS data and polygenic risk scores on them. We have published about a thousand scientific articles on the cohort. Our focus has been really on lifestyle factors and understanding the contribution of genes and environment. Twin fat is a study of obesity. We have studied twins from both the genetic perspective and from lifestyle perspective. We have studied their body composition, we have taken fat biopsies, we have taken muscle biopsies, we have done glucose tolerance tests. We have found that mitochondria are working poorly in obesity. What was surprising to us was adipose tissue mitochondria are more affected than muscle. This especially is then linked to metabolic diseases. Is there a relationship between smoking dependence and depression? With uh, twins, in my studies, we have been especially interested in those pairs who are discordant for this outcome. If we can demonstrate independent relationship between exposure and outcome, we can give new information for prevention and also for health policies. In my research group, we are interested in why uh, different people have different risks for various uh, adverse outcomes, such as alcohol or drug disorders or other psychiatric disorders. In Finnish twins, we actually found that there are shared genetic factors underlying the risk for alcohol problems and uh, poorer cognitive abilities. And then in another data set using data from Sweden, we actually expanded this and really show that poorer cognitive abilities actually predict a higher risk for substance misuse and substance use problems. We put together results with other researchers from other research groups to in fact make very strong conclusions the twin study is a large international effort to pool all twin data in the world. We have studied in Coda twins how the genetic variation of BMI differ between different countries. We have analyzed how the heritability of, of BMI changes over the human life course. They are simply not so large single data files. They have enough twin pairs these specific ages. That's why we need to pull data from all cohorts. The number of cancer cases we have for any specific cancer is quite small. To get around that, we have done a collaboration from the past two decades with cancer and twin researchers from Sweden, Norway, and Denmark in the Nordic Twin Study of Cancer. That database has about 40,000 cancer cases. We showed that when both twins in a pair have cancer, more often than not, they have cancers at different sites. There have been almost 100 PhD theses written on the data set. I used uh, different types of omics data to study how, for example, the clinical data can improve predictions of systolic and diastolic blood pressure. Uh, I have a statistical background then I've been focusing on epidemiology and genetics. So the FIM Institute was very interesting because they use all these kind of data. 
I'm using statistical models to investigate associations between adolescent uh, behavioral and emotional problems such as aggression. We will also be able to investigate those associations with the built environment to see if any of these things affect children's mental health. The kind of research question I was interested to ask was uh, able to be answered well by the Finnish twin data that I have access to. And finally, working at FIM is an important uh, place to do this work because of the international researchers and collaborations. FIM is a special place for researchers to work at. A vibrant scientific atmosphere. We have statisticians, biologists, geneticists, and social scientists all working together trying to better the health of Finland and of the world as well.